was able to hit my spots more often, more consistently, mechanically I felt sound, and things just came out better. After the home run, it didn't seem to phase you. You got in a nice, nice Yeah, um, I mean, I just took my cap to a you know a guy who puts a swing on a pitch like that. It was a good yeah. pitch. I went down with it. It was where I wanted it, so I just move on. Yeah, after the home run, you retired the next 14 straight, I believe, the six strikeouts. Did you feel like the pitches were working? Um, I just felt like I was attacking the zone more consistently. Um, hitting the spots is the biggest thing, and the equalizer today was growing my, my off speed for strikes, so it helped a lot. Yeah, Bruce said you were pounding strike zone, which is the keys, obviously. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you get them in aggressive nature, then you can do what you want to them later in the game, and it makes it easier. How much did you need this today? I mean, how, how good does it feel to have an outing? It definitely feels good, you know, um, but you know, we still got a lot to do, you know, a lot of work to do, so. You know, like I said, I've said it before, I'm not jumping up and down right now. I'm just, you know, happy with what we did today and, you know, another day's another, tomorrow's another day for work, so. What kind of things do you see from an outing like this that you hope you can carry forward and, you know, find that consistency in that uh, like Just this? working my fastball on both sides of the plate, that was a big thing today. Um, you know, which, like I said, opened up my pitches with my, my secondary stuff and uh, expanded the zone, you know, and uh, like I said, I started to stay aggressive. Did, did, you didn't have to pitch too much from the stretch, obviously, but when you did, did you feel, how much better did you feel this time than last time? Uh, I felt good, um, you know, both out of the stretch and out of the wind-up, no issues, nothing really you know, taking me away from my game. After your last start, I, it, it, I didn't work, but it seemed to me that the quote that got me was you seemed upset that you didn't keep the team in the game the last time out. Um, did that sort of drive you a little bit in the last last four days? Not, not, not so much just... You know, trying to execute the pitches, working on execute the pitches, but just keeping these guys in it so that they can win. Yeah, I think the thing I've been looking for the most this year is consistency, and you know, it's not just one outing at a time; it's you know, multiple, and you know, taking the positives from you know, every every outing and just working forward. And you know, I haven't been able to do that this year, so hopefully, this is a stepping stone that I can take. With, uh, I mean, the fastball command was there from the first pitch of the game. Uh, was that something that, uh, you know, it's just, just the work, the repetition in the bullpens that got you there? Yeah, I, I would say so. You know, just working extra on you know, finding my spots, getting my, my arm out there where I'm releasing stuff out front. And like I said, it just opened up everything with my, my off speed. So the, ri so the rhythm was there? Rhythm was there. Mechanically was sound for the most part. And, uh, you know, when you got those working, it, it makes going out there and throwing your pitches the only factor, you know, where you want to throw them at, if they're going to be there. So for your rhythm, how, how much of a help is it that Andres throwing those balls down and, and the play Pablo? And, yeah, I mean, they've, they've made some really big plays when we needed them. You know, those balls that they hit were up in the up in the zone, and, you know, they looked like they were going to be a lot worse than they ended up being. And, you know, Torres made a great read on both of them in that corner, which is not an easy play to make. So much of the season you guys have rallied from behind, but tonight you got a lead right away. How much of an advantage is that for you pitching to go out there with a the lead almost every inning? Uh, it is definitely an advantage. You know, you just you just got to attack the zone more and you know not let yourself get away from you know throwing strikes. You know, especially when you get a lead like that, you got to work with it. Hey Tim, there's a lot of bullpen talk this, this last couple of days. Did that fuel the start today? Make you not really. You know, like I said, my my main focus you know today and. You know, this year is to you know be a good starter, and so I'm just working on that. This is your best start since Mother's Day. Was there anything you were doing in particular since then? Um, no, I just a lot of work in between. You know, my outings on you know getting my, my mechanics consistent and you know hitting spots you know more often. Was it just losing your footing a couple times there on the mound when you had? Yeah, my heel just came down and my uh, my my left heel just came down and hit on the on the drive home plate and that was it. It's happened already a couple times this year, but it wasn't the worst of them. I know you're locked in, but do you do you notice the reception for for Milky the booze or, or do you just not? Even yeah, uh, just you know a guy like that. You know when you're getting booze, you know it's for a reason. You know, he was a good player for us, and now he's not, so you know, you're going to hear that here. You let out a pretty loud yell and this pump there when Scuro made that kind of play with the ball pumped out afterward. You know, that was a pretty big moment in that game, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. We, I mean, it was a big double play we needed. Luckily, we had you know Josh Johnson on the paces there uh, to, to make that double play happen. But, uh, you know, great play by Pablo. I left that pitch up, and Jose put a nice swing on it, but it, luckily it went right to Pablo, and he made a heads-up play throwing to second. So, uh, great job by Scudero keeping his foot on there. I mean, it was a iffy play, but, you know, from the replay that we had, it looked like he was out.